Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll show you how you can write software testing test case using Google Gemini. Then first question is what is Google Gemini there? So Google Gemini is an advanced AI model developed by Google. It is designed to be multimodal, meaning it can understand and operate across various types of information including text, images, audio, video and code. This makes it highly versatile and capable of performing a wide range of tasks. That means Google Gemini is an AI. You can do anything, whatever you need to. You can uh, utilize this one for software testing purpose, software development purpose, and also many different purposes you can use Google Gemini. So let's open Google Gemini. In order to open Google Gemini, you need to open any browser. I am opening Google Chrome and also you need to have login in your google account with the google gmail account so then navigate to google.com in the search box type gemini then hit enter you will see first link gemini chat to supercharge your idea click over here so this is the ui uh, for the google gemini hello md how can i help you today so here is the prompt enter a prompt writing here we need to write your prompt over here based on prompt it will analyze right away and then it will give you the result so i have already written my prompt for test case writing purpose in order to short our video already i have written earlier so can you please write software testing test case for web tour application login functionality positive and negative test case in excel table format with column test case id requirement id description expected result actual result pass fail and comments if you have more column on it you can include those things so whatever i included let me copy from here let's go to the google gemini and enter prompt over here then you can hit enter or you can click submit button either way it will work from your keyboard you can enter or click over here so submit it is analyzing and thereafter it will write your test case so understanding the task that means it is analyze all the thing and it is the format then test case it is positive test case then it has written negative test case so that means whatever we ask in the prompt it basically written in that way thereafter you can take it to the excel also google sheet export to sheet you see creating spreadsheet open sheet click over here you see if you select everything then just expand that and you can see test case id already written requirement id description expected result actual result basically after test and pass fail basically user will do that if it is pass fail or anything comments it has written by the column that means let's see one test cases how it has been written so basically login with valid username and password then login with valid username and password in upper case login with valid username and password containing a special character login with valid username and password using different browser login with valid username whatever possible scenario all has been written so let me see this is the positive test case right over here now is the negative test case let me export that it has been written same way so we can export to the sheet it is exporting open sheet it is a google sheet you can copy it in your excel and for your testing purpose whatever software used by your organization you can upload it to the alm or jira anywhere so test case login test case id then login with empty username and password that means negative test case that means it has written both positive and negative test case for my scenario so whatever i see it is exactly written whatever needed that means google gemini is capable to write your software testing test case based on your prompt 
I believe those who are new in writing software test case as well as Google Gemini, this video will be very helpful for themselves. If you think this is helpful, please like my video, subscribe my channel and share it to others. Also, if you have any question regarding this, please make a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.